Right, well, we sat down at Hutt and um, guess who I bumped into? Um, possibly one of today's better, if not up there towards the top, uh, all round anglers, uh, Mike Lidden. Morning. How you Morning. doing? You Very right? good. Very good. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, good to see you too. Now, Mike, for those that don't know, um, he, he, like I say, he's an all round angler. He, he doesn't just fish for a particular species. And um, he works for Gardner. Um, so he's a tackle rep for, for Gardner, and Gardner have been around for donkey's years. And in my opinion, they make some of the, some of the best bits of kit you can buy. So, you know, what, what's, the, what's the going thing at Gardner at the moment? The going thing, um, we just bought out the new stoves, which are selling very well. A nice little compact stove, um, very competitively priced at the moment, yeah. Cool. 29 99 just perfect for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I saw an unhooking mat in there earlier on. Yes. You, it, um, how, how's that going down? Yeah, they're, they're selling well. Um, the compact um, asylum hooking mat. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. and you know, upsides and that. Every, everyone needs an unhooking mat, especially if you're sort of fishing for the bigger fish, you know, yeah. get yourself an unhooking mat. Yeah. I mean, does it pack down quite, sort of quite it small? It does, yeah. She goes down to about yay big. Can you see yeah. that? And there, yeah. About this thick, yeah. It's, it's I primarily aimed at the carp anglers yeah but me as an all-rounder i still yeah, take one yeah barbell, I, I still take barbell, a, tents, yeah that sort of stuff yeah the amount of times i've been fishing for smaller yeah, yeah. fish and you hook a big fish yeah, yeah and if you've only got a little mat like that yeah you're in trouble yeah 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 I, I also noticed some um floor carbon yes i've even bought some you have you bought some yeah and i don't buy much no no uh yeah the new tiger line we're doing yeah. 16 pound and 20 pound yeah, yeah. Um, lovely stuff. I, I used it the other week out in France, and yeah, I must admit I was impressed with it. Really yeah, for fluorocarbon, yeah. it casts like an absolute dream. Yeah, yeah. Oh, abs absolutely spot on. Right, and I mean, I got to talk to you about this um, species challenge, and and you know a bit about your own fishing. I mean, those that don't know, um, Mike does a species challenge, a bit like the old rod race from years ago, um, with his mates, and I'm intrigued at some of the fish that they catch. So. What kicked it all off and um, how'd you go about it all? Well, um, I'm in a, a little space, um, a specimen group on Facebook. Yeah. There's 31 of us in it, just a, just a bunch of mates from around the country, yeah. all similarly minded. Yeah, yeah. And every August we'll have our species month, because uh, August is normally a fairly naff month for fishing. <laughs> yeah. So like, it gives us something to do. Yeah, it's a bit in the doldrums. Yeah. yeah. But, um, we currently have... I think 35 freshwater species on the list and a month to catch them all. Yeah. Uh, myself and my mate Nate Green, he, he's my main nemesis in it. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Every year it, it was all going like who's going to win yeah, it and yeah, yeah. all the way up yeah. the top. But the two of us will always get at least 30 species in a month, yeah. normally 31, 32 species. And a lot of miles under A lot belt. of miles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a cheap month. Yeah, yeah. So what's, what's the hardest fish you've had to try and catch? Um, probably either the golden tench or the salmon. Right. The yeah, salmon, well, no one's had a salmon yet in yeah. the competition. I've lost one and I'm the only one who's hooked one in it so Yeah, far. well you ain't got to talk to me about salmon fishing. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's the only, only one yeah. um, I've hooked in it in all these years. Yeah, I've only yeah. ever caught two other salmon anyway. Yeah, I, so. I mean I liken salmon fishing to, you know, sitting on your sofa in your pants, sitting yourself in the gonads with an hammer, yeah. bur burning 20 pound notes to keep yourself warm. That's yeah, well, they, they, they call it the fish of a thousand casts, don't yeah, they? So. Yeah, I think I'm owed about 6,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, right, cool. Yeah. So what about sort of like the minor species? Do you do the minor species Yes, well? um, everything right down to sticklebacks, bullheads. Blimey, how do you go about catching a stickleback? Um, well, we, we've got a rule in it. Any species where the British record is under four ounces, so it's just you stickle back to your bullheads, your yeah. things like that. We can use a net and scoop it. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, stone loach, things like that. So you can get some very funny looks. I normally go on the River Mole for that. Yeah, and yeah. I'm right in the town centre. Yeah. I'm in my chest waders, <laughs> on my hands and knees in the middle of the river, turning stones over with a little net scooping them out. Some days it can take you five, six hours to find one. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Other yeah. days you can get one for a scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, it but, just makes a change, you know, hearing of sort of something that's a little bit more social based and and a bit different to catching big carp and big exactly, chub yeah, and big and barbell yeah, and, and things like that. You know. Yeah, we get really good rivalry going in it. And, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, excellent. Right, so yeah, so thanks a lot. A little bit of an insight into Mike's angling life, if you like, and um, hopefully we'll grab somebody else in the near future and get them and have a little bit of insight into what they do. Thanks a lot. Cheers.